No, lime paper is stronger. No, printer paper is no, stronger. No, lime paper is. Printer paper. Lime paper. Lime paper. Printer paper. Hey guys, today on this episode of Stats Busters, we're going to be answering the question we all want to know. What is stronger, white printer paper or the classical lime paper? For this project, you're going to need to pour water onto the paper and just wait a couple seconds for it to settle into the paper. After that, you're going to want to start to add on the masses and start with the smallest weight first. Then you're going to gradually add on more weight until your paper tears. Then you will repeat the same steps as before for the lined paper. Repeat this experiment 30 more times for each type of paper in order for the test to be statistically <laughs> significant. That works. So what kind of test do we do for this experiment? Uh, I think we do a two sample T test. Ah, that sounds about correct. Anyway, if we're going to do a two-sample t-test, we got to make sure that we follow the conditions. First of all, we have to make sure that for each subject, we have to do 30 trials minimum. Also, we're going to have to make sure to follow the 10% rule, a population rule that states that we got to make sure that we only use less than 10% of the amount of printer paper out there. Luckily, that'll be easy for us, considering that there's bajillions amount of printer paper. And the final two conditions, randomization and independence. In other words, that means that we gotta make sure our paper is random and not handpicked and chosen by us. And also independent as in the effects of one trial won't affect another. Which is pretty simple considering that they don't. Okay, let's start this. So our null hypothesis is that line paper is, has the same mean strength as printer paper and our alternative hypothesis is that printer paper has a greater mean strength than line paper, right? Mm -hmm. That sounds about right. So, how do we come to this conclusion anyway? Because the p-value is less than the significance level alpha equals 0.05, we reject the null. We have convincing evidence that paper, printer paper is in fact stronger than line paper. So, the results are in. After 30 trials of each paper, we have come to a conclusion. With an average strength of 140.69 grams lined paper, and an average strength of 683.33 grams printer paper. The results are obvious. The winner of this challenge, printer paper. Yay! That was right. <laughs> Let the gloating continue. So, what does this mean? Well, for our fellow students out there, I think we all know what it means. Switch out that old uh, line paper and start using printer paper for your homework, just for those rainy days. This has been another episode of Stats Busters, and we'll see you next time. <laughs> I don't know oh, that's the all these Stats Busters are really interesting. Really huh? Yeah, we should throw away your line I know. Paper. This, like, sucks. It's not even strong. We need printer paper more. <laughs>